Bitcoin is not a coin. It's actually digital code. The code that's unique to each Bitcoin carries a value that fluctuates with supply and demand. Businesses around the world now take Bitcoin. A university in Cyprus will let you pay tuition with it. A Subway sandwich shop in Allentown, Pennsylvania will take it at the register. Even Overstock.com uses it. Every Bitcoin transaction is public and recorded on a blockchain to prevent fraud. Before you get a Bitcoin, you need somewhere to store it. You can create a digital wallet for yourself by downloading one through a Bitcoin wallet website or through a mobile app like CoinPunk. You can purchase a Bitcoin through exchanges or get one by trading with someone. Bitcoins can be bought and sold in fractions. They are initially created in mining. So what's that? To be a miner, you have to be able to solve difficult mathematical problems on special software. As more people mine, the problems get harder, making it difficult to generate new Bitcoins and limiting their number to 121 million. The coins advocates say it doesn't require currency exchange fees, it doesn't leave a public record like a credit card, and it isn't hampered by government regulation. The IRS says it considers Bitcoin property and will tax it like a stock or bond.